Here we are in the Newton Orange Road. Not the most affluent of places, is it? But the people here are as good as anywhere else. And what I love about this next story is that there's a, a young fella here who has created a product and he's selling it around the world. Hip flasks are as old as alcohol itself. They've been around in their current form since the 18th century as a traditional accessory for the well-heeled gent. Hardly me, then. They fell from grace for many years, but have recently been enjoying a renaissance. A renaissance that's been capitalised on by young entrepreneur David Galbraith, who tells me he's selling a hundred of them a week from a small office in East Belfast, with over 50% of his sales now going to women, and at between 50 and 135 pounds a pop. It could be a lucrative business. Where'd you get the idea from? My uncle. He always used to carry around a flask with him in the hills of Donegal. Uh, he, had a, he would have a bit of moonshine in his. We're maybe 30 years on, and the flasks haven't changed. They're still old and fusty and horrible, so I just wanted to make one that was a bit nicer and had a brand behind it. What's different about this? This is a seamless flask, so it doesn't leak if it's in your handbag. They can be personalised right from our workshop in Belfast and arrive in your door the next day by 9am. And most importantly, you can switch these pouches around. Maybe a stop like in your America, you can just put on a nice Northern Irish one. But there must be loads of companies doing this, David. We're the only one in the world, first of all, doing the pouches, and second of all, the only hip flask brand in the world. You won't find another one. Only yeah. here off, you're not the only one in the world. We're the only hip flask brand in the world, and I'm so proud to say we're from Northern Ireland as well. David's business is online, and his customers come from across the world to buy these personalised hip flasks. See some of my customers, they're really where my heart is because they'll come to you sometimes with certain problems that they've had that they're trying to solve with a nice gift, or maybe they're trying to remember someone. Um, we've had a lady contacted once, um, her grandma had cancer and she wanted a flask to get to her kids to remember the grandma. And that to me is, it just goes so much beyond money, right? 50 quid for a flask might be okay for these swanky Americans. But we're here in the streets of East Belfast. So let's see what the real locals make of this. Hey, we're wanting to come in here and just test the market, I guess. We have Flask Union Jack. Well, we're a better place to do it than in here. This is David. How you doing? How you doing? Are this... you the man that's oh, a Union Jack one? He had things, I guess, years ago too, with different things on them. Well, I tell you what, Does the important thing about ours there, you can change the pouch on it if you want. Yeah, different countries or... So you can out. switch it to an own Irish pouch, you can uh, switch it to a mean, yeah. Rangers FC pouch if you want to, right? Yeah. Not too sure Celtic one would sell well here. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, don't you start trying to barge through here. What's that man there? Listen, I'm a customer too. Let me show you, let me show you the hip flask. What do you think of it? Do you like it? Why is he not talking to me? Hey, hey, got a customer here. I think you don't like me. He's <laughs> not the only one. What do you... <laughs> What do you think of the hip flask? Best ever. Do you like it? Yes, I do. You, and would you buy them as a gift? Well, they'd be handy for the 12th. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not good, there's a young fellow on the road doing this. So you're taking a thousand of them? Yeah, they're actually... They're, they're actually... <laughs> Maybe I should be on a percentage cut. I like percentage cuts. But the locals do seem keen on these jazzed up hip flasks. What's your dream? I want to be able to go to places in the world and people will recognise my product. They don't need to recognise me, they just need to recognise the product, and that's my dream. Tell you what, I'd be a long time waiting for anyone to buy me a hip flask. That's not what it's all about. Would you buy one for someone you care about? Excellent. Yeah. I, I knew you'd like that, Art. Yeah. I just knew you'd be all over that one. Well, I think it's great. I mean, First of all, he hasn't reinvented the wheel. It is something that... Yeah. Well, maybe he has reinvented the wheel. He's got a good name for a start. He has. Um, but what astounded me is that he claimed, or didn't he, that it's the only yeah. hip flask company in the world. No, no, the only hip flask brand. Brand, OK. Difference. I really like it. I really like it. But I just don't know. I feel like anybody could do it. It doesn't matter if anybody could do it, because he's trying to brand it. Now, that's difficult. Yeah, I think they're nice. It's ornamental value as well. To sit nicely on top of my bookcase at home. My dad, for example, never wants a gift. And then I'd be stuck and I'd go, I can't get him another, you know, bottle of Lynx yes. or a pair of socks, but I could get him a new sleeve for his hip flask. You know what? That's true. It's a really nice gift idea. It is different. He sold it very well. He yeah. could sell Ace to the Eskimos, that guy. He was yeah. very good. 